Hello, Kitty Blue here. Welcome to my doll room. Today we're going to do something fun and a little different. Um, I've been collecting smart dolls not for very long, and I've accumulated quite a bit of the smart doll CJ fashions. So today we're going to go over some different fashions that I have that are CJ smart doll labeled and also the names of the dolls and what sculpts they are. So we're going to get started here. We have four prowess dolls. Prudence is a cinnamon prowess. She's wearing the Karma is a beach t-shirt. I believe I received that from Utter Chaos. Puskara is the blue pr prowess. Puskara is the blue prowess. She has the No Sheeps Given t-shirt. Priscilla is a tea prowess. She's wearing the My Eyes Are Up Here t-shirt. That was from an Utter Chaos bundle. Promise, the Coco Pro prowess, is wearing the Deal With It t-shirt and the Deal With It glasses. Uh, both, I believe, were from Utter Chaos. Magnolia is a Cinnamon Monday, which has now been discontinued. She is wearing the zip hooded ash gray cardigan, keep calm and carry a smart doll t-shirt, and the charcoal gray cargo pants. A new item that is on the smart doll website are the crutches. These are really cool. Mazarine is a blue moment. I actually got her head in a um, chaos, the painted chaos heads, and uh, she sold somebody's body. <laughs> um, actually, no, I I changed my Kabuki blue to a boy, so she stole Kabuki's uh, old body. She's wearing the Haters Gonna Hate t-shirt. Isabeau is a Milk Infinity. She has the CJ Logo Raglan t-shirt on. Cassidy is a T Courage. She has the Weathered CJ t-shirt and the Women's Suit. Calamity is T Curiosity. She is wearing the weathered CJ t-shirt um, in brown. The other one is gray. So that is shelf one. I'm just going to like scroll through here so you can see some of the shoes that they're wearing. The only ones that are CJ shoes are these ones right here that are from Lelouch. And um, yeah, they're the short ankle boots in black. And as far as the wigs, just because I know somebody might ask, I, I get them from all kinds of different places. But these two at the end are um, actual official CJ wigs. So there we have shelf number one. It was pretty much like kind of a t-shirt shelf, but uh, there are some other fun fashions there. So I will pause for a minute and then we'll move on to shelf number two. Stay tuned. Okay, I lied. We are not moving on to shelf number two. <laughs> oh, I realized that I forgot an item that Mazarine is wearing. She is actually wearing a the uh, Momo cardigan, like fuzzy hooded sweater. So cute. I love it. So yeah, I forgot that. Um, also, I didn't mention the um, shorts and capris that the other dolls are wearing are non-CJ. They actually were all made by me. So these four and um, these two were fashions made by me. So 
And now we're going to move on to shelf number two. Here we are with shelf number two. More fun CJ Smart Doll fashions. First, we're just going to take a look at these two t-shirts here. Um, I believe I want to say they listed as simple t-shirt or um, something like that. But I have a black one and a white one. Um, I think I actually got both of them in Utter Chaos bundles. But yeah, I believe they are still on the website. So we're starting off with Searsha. Searsha is a <clears throat> maple survivor. It's one of the newest, newer doll. I should say newer, not newest. She has the, the marbling is supposed to resemble scarring. She's just a gorgeous, beautiful doll. I'm so, so glad I was able to get her. The outfit she is wearing today is the shoulder holster. A brown Henley shirt. A pair of denim shorts. They're almost the same shade as the Murrah slim pants, but not quite. She also has a dog tag wrapped around her wrist that says CJ on one side and then on the other it says, Smart Doll Made in Japan, designed by Danny Chu. Where it is, necklace or a bracelet. Um, the whole outfit from her is was from the Utter Chaos Bundle. Terea is a Coco, I almost said Monday. It's the same head sculpt as Monday, but it is tomorrow, is the name of the doll. She is wearing a post-apocalyptic layered shirt and olive green pants. Uh, the shirt was from Utter Chaos. Loveland is the semi-real version of Liberty. She has a solar marine beanie. Sorry about that. Solar Marine beanie with the Solar Marine patch. A cardigan, knit cardigan. The Mirai Millennium t shirt. Actually, I think it says Mirai Millennium Girls on the website. And we have the double slit skirt. There are zippers on both sides of the skirt. Um, let's see, the skirt and the cardigan were from Utter Chaos. Maple is a tea Monday. She's wearing the new post-apocalyptic jacket in ash gray. She has a post-apocalyptic tube top on. A dog tag that says to the moon with a little doge on it and the cargo capri pants the only things I think the dog tag and the definitely the tube top were from utter chaos bundles Veronica is a milk valiant she is wearing a rusty orange or weathered cap um, I want to say it's rusty orange, maybe, or weathered orange, earthen orange. <laughs> it's some shade of orange. She has a duster jacket on, the Mirai Store Tokyo t-shirt. And these jeans, I had to actually look this up on the website. There were two jeans um, that were part of their older clothing line that are no longer available the classic and the low rise and these are the classic because the rise on the front which is the front to back is longer than the low rise so these are the classic pants and I missed something back here I forgot that Loveland was wearing a bangle that says haters gonna hate 
on it. So back to Valiant. I believe her t-shirt might be from Utter Chaos, but the rest of the outfit was from secondhand. Skylar is a licensed doll, Shiki, in the milk skin. She's got the post-apocalyptic sweater and sports bra set. She has double dog tags. One is a no, she no sheep's given, and the other one, I believe, is just the one that says CJ on it. There's the satchel and the slim Mura pants. And she's wearing a couple of bangles as well that say, keep calm and carry a smart dog. The satchel and the dog tags were from Utter Chaos. The rest is from the website. Um, actually, no, the pants, the Slim Mar Mara pants, I um, received as a trade. I believe I traded a wig for these pants because I really liked them. Faraday is a T Fortitude. She is wearing the military field jacket, another satchel bag, and the trench skirt, and the knit camisole. I want to say it's probably earthen brown, um, and it was never released, so it's not on the website. The um, satchel was from Utter Chaos, and the knit camisole was from Utter Chaos. The other two pieces I got secondhand. And she is also wearing a prosthetic leg that I got from an Utter Chaos. And uh, that was painted. I didn't paint that. That was painted by um, the crew at Smart Dog. Amity is a cinnamon anomaly. She is wearing a knit sweater dress. That was from Utter Chaos. Azarine is actually Amity's twin sister, but um, Azarine got uh, zombified. <laughs> so she is wearing the weathered cap. It's like the pastel green, like the, um, oh, pastel green. Yeah, I said olive green over here, but it, it's written down on the website as pastel green. But the hat is the same color. She has a backpack that um, I guess is the ash gray because it looks like the same color as the post-apocalyptic jacket. I got that in utter chaos. Um, the Chaos Chooses You t-shirt, the cargo shorts, and the zip hooded jacket, and the um, earthen orange, rusty orange, one of those two. The jacket and the t-shirt and the backpack were from Utter Chaos. Okay, shoe-wise, like I said, mentioned before, I shop in different places for shoes and wigs. Um, the only one in this one that is CJ licensed are these brown loafers. And the wigs. These... These three are CJ wigs. These two are non-CJ wigs. And um, the last four are um, official CJ wigs. Some of them from Chaos. Actually, maybe all four of these, I think, were from Chaos. So that is it for shelf number two. We have one more shelf to go. So stay tuned. And we're back. This is the last shelf of all these smart dolls. I shouldn't say all the smart dolls because this isn't all of my smart dolls. I actually have, I have more piled on the table right now. Um, but this is more of the CJ smart doll labeled clothing. Um, I do have some more, but we'll talk about that later. 
Let's just get started. We have Siobhan here. She is a cinnamon strength. She is wearing a dog tag that says keep calm and carry a smart doll. This is the knit camisole and rusty orange. A knit cardigan in brown. And these are the other jeans I was talking about that are the low rise jeans. And you can see that the distance of the front of the jeans is a little bit shorter than the classic. Clarity is a clear vinyl G07. She didn't officially have a name. Um, it was just part of the chaos section. You had to actually build her. It was a separate frame and shell. Her outfit is completely chaos. I don't know if I mentioned that the brown cardigan was from chaos. And possibly the dog tag. I can't remember. Anyways, back to Clarity. We have a Henley knit tank top camisole, whichever you prefer to call it, a rusty orange knit cardigan, and the floral capris. Back in the corner we have Emmerich. Emmerich is a milk boy body. Um, the head is a custom head. It was originally a blank F6 head, and by F6, it's just a name that some of us have called it. Um, it belonged to Kanata, Journey, and a bunch of other different doll sculpts. He is wearing the Silmarine beanie in gray, a hard shell jacket. It's actually a Silmarine jacket. It has a Silmarine patch on the arm that's against the wall, so you can't see it. Um, but that was from Utter Chaos. Oh, I'm so sorry. I skipped Bristol. I'm not sure why I did that. Bristol is a Coco Beyond. She is wearing the Mori Girl set. It is a three-piece outfit. All right. Back on track. This is a custom as well from a um, blank head. She is in cinnamon. Both of these are actually the F6, so you can tell that there are so many possibilities with the same sculpt looking different just by the face up and eyes and wigs and stuff like that. She has on the Solomarine uniform that has not been released yet. It is in the wine and black. That came from Utter Chaos. This is the Solomarine patch, as you probably saw on some of the beanies and um, well you would have seen it on the orange jacket but it's against the wall. Loxley is the anime version of Liberty. She is wearing the post-apocalyptic uniform. It is a three-piece outfit. It has a white button-up shirt, the wine jacket, and the pleated skirt. Her stockings are also from CJ. They are from the Mirai schoolgirl outfit. And her shoes are from CJ as well. They are the wine red loafers. Madeira here is a milk Mirai. She is wearing the Hakuma set. I may have pronounced that wrong. I I totally know that. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will correct me. But that came from Utter Chaos. Kari here obviously is Supergirl. She is wearing her Supergirl outfit. It's a licensed doll that they were able to, um, smart doll Danny Chu was able to create. And that is her original wig. Amazing outfit. All right, next we have Chitose's. I didn't even realize that I actually put them right next to each other. Anyway, first we have C7. C7 is the original Chitose head in cinnamon. I got her as a blank head 
and I sent it off to have somebody do a face up. I really like the original face up so I wanted something similar to that but she was going to be a cyborg so I wanted these cyborg lines on her face. The outfit she is wearing is some black mecha cat ears and another post-apocalyptic uniform. This one is in grays. It has the button-up shirt, the jacket, and the pleated skirt. She also has two black prosthetic legs. Um, one of the prosthetic legs, the one up against the wall, says Solar Marine Force on it. And um, I'll be able to show you that at the end of the video. So we'll move on to Chamalis. Chamalis is a blue multiverse Chitose, and she is wearing the Solar Marine uniform. And um, originally I thought this was white, and maybe, maybe they say it's white, but it has just a tinge of gray in it. So in person, you can kind of see that it's not exactly a white white. It definitely has a little bit of a some other color tone in it. But it does have the black stripes and it does have the patch on the arm that is against the wall. In the corner we have Quandra. Quandra is wearing the Mirai Girl, I'm sorry, Mirai School Girl uniform. And uh, that's the outfit that I was talking about that the leggings came from that Loxley was wearing. She is a crystal cortex. And last we have three triclops. Triclops. First up we have, oh, actually I want to do their names because they're cool. Their names are cool all three in a row. <laughs> we have Peatrix, Pixatree and Pixatra. I'm sorry, Paxatry and Pixatra. <laughs> Not Pixatra, Paxatry. I'm so confused. Let's start over. <laughs> Three Triclops dolls. <laughs> it's Peatrix, Paxatry, and Pixatra. All right, got to write that one time. So this is the Cinnamon Prophecy. She is wearing the nice sweater as it is labeled on the website in grayish. And uh, grayish basically is a combination of gray and beige. It's got kind of like a beige color to it, but it's got gray in there too. So I almost want to call the Solar Marine uniform grayish, but it's a very, very pale grayish. So yeah. And uh, her pants are the cargo pants in the pastel purple. Coco Prophecy has a turban on, turban hat. That was from Utter Chaos. Oh, actually her outfit from was from, her top was from Utter Chaos. Um, I believe I purchased her pants or maybe that was from Utter Chaos. I don't remember, <laughs> sorry. But, um, this is a post-apocalyptic sweater, shirt, whatever you want to call it. It's very asymmetrical. Um, it is not on their website. It was from Utter Chaos, as was her mini skirt, which is in pastel purple. Last, we have the blue girl. So, this is not a blue prophecy. <laughs> I attempted to get, I, I really, really wanted Blue Prophecy. Ever since like she was was shown, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need the Blue Prophecy because I just, she's just gorgeous in blue. Um, but she was only released in the Only the Brave um, listing. So this is a blank GO2 head that I received in one of the Chaos bun head bundles. And I had an artist do a modification so that she has a third eye and that is actually cut in her head and that is an actual eye in there. I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say actual eye, it is a doll acrylic eye. So now she looks like a prowess. I'm not 
Prophecy, not prowess. Too many dolls, too many names. Let's just go to her outfit. This is, I want to say, I want to say like a steel gray. It is an open knit sweater. Probably belongs to the post-apocalyptic kind of theme. And then we have the pastel purple shorts. And then she also has a prosthetic leg. This is the silver prosthetic leg. It is originally black and they paint it silver. I did not paint this, but now you can see the writing that is on the side of the black legs that you couldn't see because it was against the wall. So it says Solar Marine Force and uh, some Japanese writing. I'm not exactly sure what that says. Maybe it says Solar Marine Force as well. And then it says 361. So, I think we, I think we already established the only um, the the only CJ shoes were the loafers and of course Supergirl's boots, but the wigs I did not go over. So we have purple non CJ wig. This one that the Coco Girl's wearing is a official CJ wig. These three are non CJ wigs. These four are non-CJ wigs. She obviously has a CJ wig. It's her original wig. This was from a Chaos bundle. Um, so that is CJ. The green is non-CJ wig. And then Strength has a CJ wig on. So there we have it. All the shelves, all the clothes, lots of clothes. I actually have a few more outfits um, I took a picture of the different colors that the sports set that are default on the girl bodies. I had a picture of it, but I did not take a video. I wish I had. I'm not sure if I want to go back and like put them all in the sports sets again and set that all up. I may just post a picture at the end of this video or in another video. But I do have a couple other CJ fashions, including like swimsuits and a few other extra things that um, I'm going to have to set up and take a video. I'm not sure if I'll be adding it to this one or not. So we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. Uh, please subscribe, like the video. Feel free to leave any comments below. And have a fabulous Smart Doll Day.